welcome back to Tech Minded, where we help you get more from tech. Today, we're going to be going over some Amazon Prime deals. As you know, Prime Day is coming up uh, July 15th and 16th, so it's going to be a big day with lots of new items. Um, there's several items that are scheduled to release on Prime Day, but we're not going to cover all of those because a lot of them are not really tech related. Today, we're going to be covering the items that I expect will probably drop in price that you can really be looking out for uh, if you're looking to get those latest tech gifts. So uh, let's just get to it. You can see we've got seven days to go. Prime deal starts July 15th like I said and you can go to the Amazon Prime website and uh, check all this stuff out. This video is not sponsored by Amazon but I wish it was. And none of the products that you're about to see have sponsored this video. In fact, there's no sponsor for this video. Not a single one. So, let's check it out and see what we can get into. First, I found this 4K TV. Now, I've done a lot of research and a lot of the blogs that I'm reading are saying that the trend is headed towards the 4K TVs, of course, and 65 inch. So if you're wanting a TV, 65 inches is the most common size that's being sold right now. And uh, of course, tons of people are buying them. I picked this Samsung because it was Amazon's choice. So it's more likely that they're going to reduce the price on it. There's also several other ones. There's a TCL brand and a few others that are lower priced by just a bit. But with Samsung, you know you're gonna get quality. So it's at 697 right now but I'm expecting that to drop. I don't know how much, but you should definitely keep an eye on this stuff. Uh, if you're in the market for a TV, Prime Day is definitely the day you need to be looking for this. There's more and more content being released in 4K, so if you haven't already, it's time for you to upgrade to a 4K TV. And the best day to do that is gonna be Prime Day. So keep an eye on these. The next product I've got is the Fire TV, of course. Like I said, this is not sponsored by Amazon, but of course, since it is Prime Day, there are going to be a lot of deals on Amazon products. Several other products, but Amazon is gonna push their products extra hard. Now, there's a lot of debate about the Fire Stick versus the Fire TV, and, and now they've got a, um, I forget what it's called. I'll scroll down and find it in a minute. There's a, another Fire TV device that they've released. I have the Fire TV 4K, which they now have a Fire Stick 4K. The price is only about $15 different, but I'd expect to see this Fire TV drop down to about the same price that you can get a Fire Stick for now. So if you want to go ahead and get the Fire TV, that'll be a great time to do it. Um, the Fire TV allows you to have tons of apps. Like I was saying earlier, HBO, Hulu, all these things. I don't have a smart TV, but using a fire stick or a fire tv will make your regular tv a smart tv and mine flawlessly streams 4k constantly without any issues uh, there's also prime video of course As you can see here it's a really easy installation you just plug it into the back of the tv in the hdmi port and then there's a usb port that gives it power and mine's powered from my tv so it comes on when the tv comes on and goes off when the tv goes off has a nice remote with Alexa built in so you can use voice commands and things like that. There's more features than I can really go over in this quick little video. So definitely, if you're in the market for a new streaming device like this, you should check this one out and keep an eye on it because I'm pretty sure this price is gonna drop. And as you can see up here, I purchased it uh, about almost a year ago now. And I'm still using it and still recommending it, so it's a good product. Now we're gonna move change directions a little bit this is some trending tech that if you're watching this channel or subscribe then you probably already know about this uh, the VR uh, the move towards augmented reality and virtual reality and oculus has been a leader in that since the beginning there's also the HTC Vive Vive I don't know how to say it um, which is a nice product but the great thing about this oculus quest is that it's all in one so what that means is that you don't need a computer. Um, before I had an HP 
uh, virtual reality set, I guess, a HP virtual reality system that was similar to this. It had the uh, display and then the two controllers, but it needed a computer to run it. And the main issue that I had there was that my computer was too slow. So I really wish I would have gone for one of these Oculus systems. Um, like I said, they're trending tech. Uh, they're really cool. A lot of fun to play with. And this system, the price is not really that bad. You've got options for 64 gig or 128 gig uh, models and that just gives you more room to store games but the fact that it's an all-in-one standalone VR system is pretty impressive so it doesn't have a ton of reviews yet but it's a relatively new product and the price is $399 right now but I'd expect that to drop it's temporarily out of stock And if you select the 128 gigabyte version, you can see it is in stock. It's $499, so it's $100 more, but it'll be in stock from July 26th. So you could order it now, and then 10 days after Prime Day, it'll, it'll be ready to ship. So I'd really keep an eye on this. It seems like a nice system, and I would really like to have one, but I don't. So uh, give that a shot if you're into VR, virtual reality, or augmented reality you can't really go wrong with this set here's another little gadget that has really been on my radar lately and if you've watched any other youtubers um, especially in the tech world or in the action world um, insta360 has really been pushing this camera and they haven't sponsored me I don't know why but they haven't and I would love to test one of these out myself this thing gets incredible video and it's a 360 camera. 360 cameras have been on the market for a couple years now, but they haven't really reached this quality until recently. This thing records in 5.7K. Uh, I'm not sure how much different that is than 4K. I mean, not to, I can't give you the specs right off hand here. But what I do know is that the 360 video that is recorded by this thing is incredible. And um, for 398, it's a little steep but if you keep an eye on it you may see the price drop on this and the reason I believe that is because it is a really trending product and they're really marketing this and pushing it lately a lot of influencers are using them and they've been sending them out to tons of people that I watch on YouTube myself so I can't go over all the features because they haven't sent me one to test but I know if I had the money, I would be purchasing one immediately. So I would definitely keep an eye on the Insta360 because that is the brand leader currently for 360 degree cameras. Uh, it's an action camera just like any old GoPro or anything else, but you can record 360 degrees basically. And that's the premise here. So check this out and set an alert for it or keep an eye on it because on Prime Day the price is probably going to drop and make it a lot more affordable. And keeping with the 360 camera theme, I found something new that I thought was pretty interesting. Now the price tag is high, $799, but this seems aimed more at a corporate environment. It's a 360 degree video conferencing system. It's called the OWL. I've never seen this before, but like I said, I was just browsing for uh, some new tech that I wanted to talk about and this seems pretty interesting. It's got the 360 lens on top so you can, you know, a lot of companies are sitting around and and doing conference calls. Obviously it's been done for decades over the phone but now we've got a way to video call with a whole room full of people. And so I thought that was pretty interesting and if that fits uh, your use case I guess then it'd be a really cool thing to have. Uh, especially if you do regular video calls with people in the same office building or in the same room and you all have to set up your own computer to do different screens like this right here. Uh, if you have to video call and set up a different screen for everybody, that's a little bit cumbersome. So something like this would really help. And it's got really high reviews. So $7.99 is really steep, like I said but I'd keep an eye on this because it is new tech and it's also in the 360 camera uh, category so it's probably something that you'll see a price drop on 
And now we're gonna switch gears a little bit and I wanna go into some tech that's it's not really even new. It's the, um, the Nest Smart Thermostat or Learning Thermostat as they call it. Uh, several years ago I upgraded to an older model um, Honeywell Wi-Fi thermostat and I love it. It doesn't learn and it's not nearly as smart as the Nest, but the Nest has been the market leader for a while now, several years. Uh, as you can see, it's the number one bestseller in home programmable thermostats. So you can't really go wrong with the Nest and a lot of times when Amazon does sales or prime days, things like this go on sale. So that 189 price point is not really that bad considering what all you're getting in this package. Uh, if you've done any research on the Nest at all, then you know what I'm talking about. But I'd expect that price to come down even further for Prime Day. And all the features it has where it, it auto schedules and learns, I mean, it learns the, um, the way you like your house set up as far as the temperature goes anyway. So instead of having to program in a schedule, it'll auto program it for you. I'd love to have one of these in my house, but I don't have $198 to spare or whatever it's gonna be on Prime Day. I don't know yet, but uh, 189, see? Even if it goes down to 149, I don't have that, but I'd recommend it to you because from all of the testimonials I've heard, it seems to be a really good product. Control it from your phone, help save energy. You know the drill. It's a nice thermostat and it's also a very popular thermostat. So keep an eye on that because that price is going to drop for Prime Day. And since we're already on a home automation theme, I want to show you something that I came across earlier that I thought was kind of funny. It's a SwitchBot smart button pusher. <laughs> it seems kind of silly, but it's also kind of clever. Um, I, I can think of a million use cases for this thing, uh, automatically turning off lights as you can see there, but uh, using it to start the coffee maker. And you, it looks like in the app you can even um, adjust the hold time. That's pretty fascinating. It's just a simple internet enabled. It looks like a servo. It's like a servo in a box. Um, and it just swings its arm and presses the button whenever you command it to. 28 bucks is not a bad price anyways for something like this if you really need a robot to push a button for you. But um, it is also one of those new tech things. It's the IoT or Internet of Things category or home automation category. So I'd keep an eye on that. It, the price may go down if you can't spend 28 bucks on it maybe it'll come down to 24.99 or 19.99 like I'm saying this is just speculation but these kind of products are the things that I would be looking for because they're trending a lot of people are buying them and these companies are really trying to push these products and I just thought this one was kind of interesting The only downfall I really see with this is that it says the US toggle switch is not supported. But there's so many other ways that you can automate your light switch to work with a computer, so I wouldn't even worry about that. Anyway, that's just a little piece of interesting tech that I came across, I guess. So if you're into home automation, check this thing out. Let me know what you think in the comments. Do you need something to push a button for you? I'd love to hear from you. Or if you have an idea of how to use this thing, leave me a comment and let me know because I'd like to build one and it wouldn't be that hard. A little bit of work with an Arduino and a servo and I could make it happen. I'm sure other people online already have. So if you're interested in seeing that, leave a like on this video and let me know what kind of ideas you have in the comment section. So now let's move on to the next product, which is a piece of, I wouldn't say new tech because it's been out a few years. This is the new model. It's the Ring doorbell. It's a video doorbell. 
if you're not aware of what that is, basically someone comes up and presses this doorbell button to ring your doorbell and it alerts you that someone has rang your doorbell. And then you look through the camera and you can see who it is. I'm not sure if you can talk to them or not through this particular model. It looks like you can because of the call and hang up buttons. But these things go on sale fairly regularly. So for Prime Day, I would really expect that price to drop. It's $189 for the new model and it's Amazon's choice, so I know they're going to be pushing it. You can get the older model for a little cheaper, but keep an eye on this new one. Um, I could make a whole video on security cameras that you need to watch out for. Uh, there's tons of them. I've got several at my house that I use and could recommend, but the security camera market has been exploding for years especially with the new Wi-Fi uh, IP cams that have come out. So there's tons of opportunities to pick up a good camera. There's really no excuse anymore to not have some sort of home security camera set up, whether it's a ring doorbell or a Wi-Fi camera, because you can get them for less than $30. And they're so easy to set up by just following the simple instructions. But this ring doorbell is something that I would keep an eye on I'm going to keep an eye on it myself because I would love to have one. Also while checking out the Ring camera, I found something new from the Ring company that I thought was pretty interesting and wanted to share. And that's their floodlights. They have a motion activated floodlight camera. So it has all the features of the Ring doorbell, but now it's in a wall mountable floodlight. So that would be great to have on the corner of your house. It's a little more pricey at $224, but like I said, it's a Ring product and they're really pushing them. So keep an eye on that because the price may come down. This fits in with all your Alexa devices so it'll be perfect to add this to your home automation system. Now that we've covered a handful of home automation products, I'm going to go to another category that interests me, which is 3D printers. I have my own Anet A8 3D printer. And Monoprice is what I believe to be Amazon's brand or the brand they push the most anyways. So they've come out with, I'm not gonna go through the different types of 3D printing uh, and how they work, but this Delta 3D printer is kind of a trendy thing. It's basically a new spin on the same old 3D printer that we've had the past few years. Um, I'm not a 3D printer guru, I do own one but I'm not going to pretend I know everything. Uh, the Delta 3D printers are kind of cool and this is a pretty good price as it is and it probably comes out of the box assembled. Yeah, it says right here it comes fully assembled. So that's something to take in consideration because the Anet A8 that I purchased, well I didn't purchase it, I actually got it for Christmas. Um, the Anet took me about eight hours to put together. So having something at this price point that comes fully assembled is a great thing to have. And now I want to move on to something that's been on the market for a few years, and that's the Fire Tablets. The Fire HD 10 tablet is a pretty good sized tablet. I own a few Fire Tablets myself, and I like them. My only complaint is that they don't have expandable storage. but the Fire 10 has expandable storage up to 256 gigabytes. So you'll have plenty of space in there to store whatever you want on this thing. And I know tablets have been out for several years now, but it's not something you want to overlook because Amazon really pushes these. And if you've been around for any prime day before 2019, then you know what I'm talking about. They try to sell these things even when it's not prime day. But the prices are really competitive. As you can see here, the Fire 7 is only $49.99, but the Fire HD 10 is $149.99 currently, and that price will likely drop. It's almost guaranteed that that price is going to drop, so it'll be a lot more affordable in a few days. So be sure you keep an eye on that. And if you're into tablets and the Fire HD 10 is not enough tablet for you, then we have the Samsung Galaxy View. I've seen one of these in person. I would love to own one actually, but I don't know what I would do with it. It almost looks ridiculous sitting in your lap. It's got an 18.4 inch large display. Uh, it's a tablet, but it's bigger than you would 
believe it is unless you actually healed one. Uh, it's a pretty cool device actually. But for $549 for a tablet, it's kind of steep. But you may want to keep an eye on this and see if the price drops. It's a Samsung product, so it's, it's going to be popular. It's got good reviews, so they may try to sell them at a reduced price on Prime Day. Now I'm going to transition into another item that has been on my radar for several years, and that's DJI's quadcopters. Um, last month I purchased my first actual DJI quadcopter and I got the Mavic Air. Planning on doing a video on that here in the near future and it has tons of great features. I'm not going to get into a debate on which DJI aircraft is the best but I will say you can't go wrong with the Mavic Air for it being a prosumer drone or any hobbyist. The price is high but it's worth it. I've spent almost that much money on several toy quality drones that I don't use anymore since I got the Mavic Air. So since this is a DJI product and Amazon is an authorized seller or reseller of these, you should definitely check these out because these go on sale regularly and for Prime Day it's pretty much guaranteed that the price is going to drop. I know I bought the Mavic Air Fly More Combo for $7.99 just about a month ago. So that price is going to go down probably further than that for Prime Day. So watch out for that. And if you're in the market for a drone but don't have that kind of money to spend, then the Tello is also a nice choice. This one's controlled by your smartphone. So it has a limited range and limited abilities, but the reviews that I've seen on it seem to be really good. It has a good um, stable camera. It's got image stabilization software built into it. And it's got DJI technology. So if they'll put their name on it, then it's got to be a good product. And at $95, you can't really beat that for a good quality drone. So watch that, and you may see that price come on down to where it's even more affordable. And if you're going to buy a toy grade drone, this is the one that I would recommend. And now I'm going to transition back into some action cameras for a minute that are not the 360 variety, obviously. But GoPro is a trusted name. They've been around a long time. And they're probably working on new products. Well, they're always working on new products. But the GoPro Hero 7 has been out for a little while now. And it's great quality. I have a GoPro 7. And I really like it. Uh, some of the footage that you've watched, if you've been subscribing to my channel, was shot with it. And the price is a little steep at 343, but it's well worth it. And with it being Amazon's choice and a very popular product, still I'd expect its price to drop for Prime Day. So definitely check that out. And last but certainly not least is something that I reviewed a while back. If you've been a subscriber for over a year now, I reviewed the Anchor PowerCore 10,000 milliamp battery pack and mine actually looks different than this uh, but it is the same product this is just their newer model $24.99 that seems like a lot for a battery pack but it's not um, anchor has established themselves as a really high quality charger and battery pack provider as you can see it's the number one bestseller in power banks so watch that because portable chargers are always seeing price reductions or they're always on sale and this is the one I would buy if I were in the market for another one and that price may come down to $19.99 and just be enough for you to feel like it's worth it to you so check that out now, I know this video was different than most of my older videos I usually do a lot of how-to stuff I've had a lot of people in the comments that still ask me how to clean out charging ports for the um, iPhone chargers and things like that. It's I've made two videos on it already and you can see it up in the card right there. Click that little card and go watch those videos if that's what you came here for. Um, but this is something that I'm trying to do. I've got a lot more that I want to say. There's a lot of things that I want to talk about and a lot of info that I want to bring to you guys. 
and I don't want to just sit here and do how-to videos behind the camera where you only see my hands and complain about my fingernails. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I'd love to have you as a regular viewer and I always enjoy engaging with people in the comments. So leave a comment, let me know what you think about it and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks for watching.